It's Ash from Super Videos back for another Q&A video. This is going to be Q&A number 41. So as always, if you're not caught up with The Walking Dead's TV show and comic book, don't watch the video because it may spoil things for you. So you know the drill by now. I don't need to say it every time, but I just say it just in case people haven't seen my previous Q&As. So let's get right into this. The first question comes from Chandler Patterson and he asks, who do you think will die first in the premiere of season eight of The Walking Dead? So I can't think of anyone from the top of my head right now. In terms of what happens in the comics, I can't think of any deaths at this point in time, but they may give us something because it's the 100th episode. They need to do something big and an early death will definitely set the mood for the war, but they don't always have any deaths in the premiere. They could have background character deaths, but I don't think we're gonna have any main death. But they may give us a main death because it's a big episode, it's a 100th episode, but yeah. Other than that, I can't think of anyone from the top of my head. The next question comes from Frosty Gator and they ask, will Heath and Sherry return? For Heath, yeah, probably in the future. For Sherry, I'm not sure. She may come back, but we just don't know. Everything is up in the air with Sherry. Also with Heath as well, but at least for Heath, they left it open for him to come back. But in terms of when he's gonna come back, I'm not quite sure. I'm actually doing a separate video on Heath and when I think he's gonna come back. So I'll go into more detail in that video. But for the sake of this Q&A video, he's definitely gonna come back. The question is when. The next question comes from Ergen and they ask, who should play Beta in the TV show? So I've actually answered this before, but I don't have a preference for anyone. And I don't think they're gonna cast anyone famous for that role. So because of that, they will probably Go with someone that's unknown but what i really want to see is someone who is intimidating and who is very big that's all i care about if they have that and obviously they're a good actor then i just don't care about what they look like exactly and who it is but that's a good question the next question comes from govind up i'm sorry if i pronounce your name wrong and you ask i'm not a comic reader but i would like to i think you mean know what happened so far in the comics I just know who all the, I just know who all are there in the comics in comparison with the TV show. Could you just explain that? So in a Q and A video, I probably can't, but I may do a separate video on this just for non-comic readers about the comic book and some major events from the comic book. Maybe just events that we haven't seen in the show. But yeah, I can definitely do a separate video on this. The next question also comes from Govind up, and they ask. April 29, I got it, but time is at 5 p.m. Is it 5 p.m. in the U.S.? Because I'm from India. So you're talking about the live stream. The live stream is going to be on April 29th at 5 p.m. Mountain Time. I don't exactly know the conversion between Mountain Time and India, which is where you're from. But if you go and just type it in, converting from Mountain Time to Indian Time, you can probably find it but I'm also not in the US. So yeah, you just wanna search 5 p.m. mountain time. That's probably enough for you to find out the exact conversion. The next question comes from Final Mystery T. You have two questions. The first one, if Rick did the speech like he did when he was at the prison, when he went up against the governor to offer to join him, would it work against Negan and the saviors? I think it would work. Not exactly the way Rick would want it to. I think Negan would say, yeah, okay, I still gotta punish one of you, but we can work together, you can give me half your shit. So it would still work, but not exactly in the way that Rick would want it to. Obviously it didn't work with the governor and I don't think that exact thing would work with Negan either. Negan is not just gonna say, I give up, I'm not gonna take your stuff anymore, I'm not gonna kill anyone. He's gonna fight, he's not gonna give up his power that easily. The next question you have is, if the storyline had changed, do you think Ezekiel would play a great villain? I think he would with Shiva. What is your thoughts and would it work? That would definitely work. It would be very interesting to see Ezekiel as a villain. Obviously the tiger Shiva would be the major interesting and new and fresh thing in there. And it would definitely make it very cool to see Ezekiel as a villain. But in terms of would it work or not, it definitely would work. It just depends on his character as well. So the way we have Ezekiel right now, he wouldn't be able to make a villain. They would have to change his character to make him a villain, but he would definitely be an interesting villain for sure. The next question comes from 
Lichichin Chin 101. I think that's how you pronounce it. And your question is, how do you think Negan will die? Will it follow its comic death or will it do its own way and how will it affect the show and save yours? Great vid bro, can't wait for more. Thanks for the compliment, I really appreciate it. In terms of Negan, well, spoilers obviously, but Negan is not dead in the comics still, so we don't know how he's gonna die. But I'm pretty sure they're gonna stick with his death in the comics. So whatever way they kill him off in the comic book, they're gonna kill him off the exact same way in the TV show. He's too big of a villain for them to change his death. They're gonna have to kill him off in the same sort of way. So they can't remix it that much. And in terms of how it's gonna affect the saviors, it's not really gonna affect them that much. Another person is just gonna come up and take power. Maybe Simon, maybe Gavin, maybe Arat, maybe someone like that. So someone else is just gonna come up and get power. So nothing is gonna really change in terms of the saviors and it's not gonna affect them that much. But that's a good question. The next question comes from Michonne's mom. Great name. You ask, Eugene thinks Sasha is a fellow savior at this point. We also know it was Eugene, not Sasha, who picked all the songs. So can we consider the message fellow savior was sending to Sasha, the lyrics, and you go in detail about the lyrics and everything. So it could be, but probably not because Eugene didn't pick the songs exactly. The saviors didn't either. It was just an iPod that Eugene found. So I don't think there's any subtle hints or anything like that there. There may be, but it's a stretch to think that but yeah the next question comes from Carmen de Jesus you ask will the Whisperer War be in season 10 what I think is that All Out War is gonna take the entire season 8 or most of it and we're gonna get the a new beginning arc in the second half of season 8 maybe by the end maybe in the last two or three episodes and then we're gonna see the remaining of that in the first half of season 9 and then the whispers are gonna be introduced in the second half of season nine. So yeah, I think you're right. Season 10 will most likely be the beginning of the whisper war. The next question also comes from Carmen De Jesus. You ask, when will the Walking Dead season eight trailer be out? So it's way too early obviously because they haven't started filming yet. I think they start filming either this coming week or the next week for the new season. So pretty much in a couple months after that, they're gonna be finished filming all of the episodes for at least the first half of season 8 and we probably will get a trailer close to like August or September probably. The next question also comes from Carmen De Jesus. You ask if there was another lineup would you pick Rick, Carl, Scott, Maggie or Tobin, Rick, Eric, Aaron or Eric, Maggie, Gabriel, Rick. So I don't like the idea of another lineup, but for the sake of this question, I think if I have to go with one of your lists, it would probably be the first one. The next question comes from Royal King 35 Royal. You ask if Daryl and Rosita survive all out war and Rosita gets her head on a spike, how do you think Daryl will react to her death? They did have a bond back in season six. They definitely did. It wasn't that big, but in terms of your question, I think Daryl will definitely be sad. I don't know if it's gonna hit him that hard, but he'll definitely be sad about it. But that's pretty much it. The next question also comes from Royal King 35 Royal, and you ask, if Eugene does not return to Rick, who do you think will take his comic role? So that's a good question. I don't think anyone can replace him because Eugene as a character is very unique because he's knowledgeable. He knows a lot of things. So if they're gonna make someone replace him, they're gonna have to do someone who is as smart as he is and there's really no one there right now so I don't think anyone's gonna replace him if he doesn't return to Rick then they're just gonna have to deal with not having Eugene with Rick in the show so it's gonna be a big remix if they do that the next question comes from 0718 Dragon Lord you ask if there is ever an explanation for the outbreak what would you make it be and also how do you think the rest of the country is managing so for the first two questions you have, if there was an outbreak, I think it would probably be something along the lines of an experiment gone wrong. So the government trying something and then it gets out of their hand and there goes the zombie outbreak. So that's what I think. How do you think the rest of the country is managing? So for that question, I think everyone is doing pretty much the same. 
We do know that in the West Coast with LA, they're dealing with the same thing because of Fear the Walking Dead. So I'm pretty sure that it's the same throughout the United States. Now in terms of other countries like Canada, I don't know, but we do know in Mexico, it's the same thing. So I'm pretty sure in Canada, it would be the same thing as well. In terms of other places, I'm just not sure. It would probably be the same. Third and last question, what if Rick and company didn't intervene in the conflict with the Saviors and the Hilltop? Would the Saviors eventually try to strong arm Alexandria or never stumble upon them? I think even if they didn't, the Saviors would find them sooner or later. So it was just a matter of time. It would still happen, it would just take a little longer than it did. The next question comes from Jig Jig Almandras the Goose, you ask, do you think Morgan will take the death of Nicholas in the comic? That's possible. I think for Nicholas's death in the comics, it was kind of iconic as well. Much like Holly's death in the comic, it wasn't really a big character death, iconic kind of way, but it was still an iconic death. So I think they may give that death to some main character because obviously they gave Holly's death to some major character, Sasha. So they probably will give Nicholas's death to someone big as well. And it may be Morgan. That would be pretty cool. The next question also comes from Jig Jig Almandras the Goose. You ask, off topic, do you have a girlfriend? Nope, I don't. Next question comes from Pika Universe. You ask, will they recreate the scene with many survivors, heads, Rosita, Ezekiel, etc., on spikes to mark the borders of Alexandria and the Whispers? Definitely. If they get to the Whispers, they definitely need to do that. That's an iconic and important part of the arc with the whisper so they're definitely gonna need to do that and it's kind of made for tv something like that so yeah definitely next question also comes from pika universe you ask will magna yumiko Callie, luke connie and bernie come into the tv show yeah definitely they would all come into the tv show when it's time for them to come to the tv show it might work if they bring them early but it's gonna be something that works so for dwight he came early but his story worked coming early. So if they do something like that with all of those characters, then great. But if not, then it would be best if they bring him in when it's time for them to come to the TV show. The next question comes from The Gaming Wolf. You ask, what issue do you think Beta and the Whispers will return? In terms of an actual issue, I don't know. I don't think it's gonna be anytime soon. I think it's gonna be way in the future because the way they left it, I think they're not gonna come back in the current story or where we are right now they're gonna wait until the herd is gone and everything is kind of like on the right track or something like that. And then we're gonna see the whispers come back. But in terms of an actual issue number, I just don't know. I can't make a guess. So that's it for this Q&A video. Thanks for participating. If you wanna participate in my next Q&A video, write your questions in the comment section below. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. I'll be back for another video.